Hi, I'm Brad Devaney with Lightspeed. I wanted to show you what we've got new in carbon for 2012. Uh, the new L-Series road bike. Through the past three seasons, we've had the Lightspeed C-Series. It was our first entry, it was Aero Road. Um, our latest entry is an all-rounder. Uh, stiffness to weight ratio is the real key. Uh, the, the real design focus for this bike as we assess the entire market, we really respect and recognize the Cervelo R-Series owned that category. Every review, that was the, the uh, go-to bike. So focusing on that R-Series, we wanted to see how we could up the ante, change the design philosophy a little bit, see if we couldn't throw in some new technology. What we've done, starting at the head tube, this is an, an oversized 1.5 by 1 and 1 8 steerer uh, with an internal headset. This bike's capable of King Creek, FSA, Chris King, whatever high-end system you want to put, uh, this, this frame set's capable. Uh, mating that head tube, 62 millimeters at the bottom of the head tube, right into a big 62 millimeter crown. That, going with that extra size, gives us more stiffness, a smoother transition, no bowing of the fibers, um, and a very linear design. Just, just straightforward stiffness to weight. Um, as we move back through the frame, we're going to begin the, speci the specific shaping within the tube set. We definitely believe in, in box sections for stiffness, but we're looking at a system of tubes, not just an individual tube. The system of the top tube and down tube working together, we've got a, a rectangular box system, flat top, flat bottom, but understanding the torsional loads on the front end of the bike, we've canted the outside faces inward a little bit of triangulation to help that stiffness, but immediately morphing as we go down into the drivetrain area, every centimeter of the frame, the cross section's changing right into a big square convex uh, shape and a lot of asymmetry into a new bottom bracket system. Uh, on our aero bike, we've got a narrow aero BB3, uh, BB30 system. What we wanted for our, our stiff road bike, a real climbing machine, is a wide bearing BB30 system. Um, ourselves, BH, VLA, FSA, we collaborated on a new system called BB386. So our first entry with, uh, with BB386, we've done it a little bit different than our competitors. Um, gone very asymmetric in the design, taking a lot of fiber to the non-drive side, leaving uh, good chain clearance allowance. We, we've uh, prevented those mishaps that do happen like a drop chain. We don't want that to break a frame. So some really intelligent design uh, behind the chain wheel, specific to the drive side of the bike. Got a lot of carbon going as far out as we can on the non-drive side. From this new bottom bracket system through into the chain stays, we've got asymmetric uh, asymmetric chain stays, a uh, little added chain, uh, chain slap clearance here, uh, the overall dimensions very specific to the stress loads on the bike. Uh, into the seat stays, very purposeful shape. Uh, we get flat and wide at the top, it's a very tunable shape along with the same thought in our, the rear section of our top tube. Gives us the ability to change the laminate, change the layup. Uh, we, turn, we can tune the vertical compliance uh, within the range of models that we offer in this bike. Uh, back across into the top tube, we're back into that uh, somewhat of a, a rectangular section with a little bit of triangulation in there, back for the head tube stiffness. Um, most interesting features in this bike uh, for, as far as design, a great all-rounder bike. It's really easy to design it as uh, just simple straight and round. We've put a lot of uh, thought into each juncture of the of the tubes. What we're doing at the head tube, the biggest feature that we plugged in, I feel, is the size specific tubes within each size of the bike. So as you go from our smallest bike all the way to the extra large, we didn't stick with the same parameters. Um, very thoughtfully, we've changed and increased the tube sizes out to those through the larger bikes.